my professional trip started in 1957 when I joined Lionel Hampton's orchestra while working in Atlantic City. I left Atlantic City and came to New York. The, the very first job that I had was at Central Park. It was called uh, Jazz Under the Stars. And it was Billie Holiday, Dave Brubeck, Lionel Hampton. And uh, at the time I was playing tenor with Hampton's orchestra. But Billie Holiday came with her pianist, Mal Waldron, and they needed the rhythm section from Dave Brubeck, which was Bob Bates and Joe Morelli, and they got me from Lionel Hampton's orchestra. Now, I was real young at the time, you know, and I remember going into the room to talk to Billy Holiday and ask her, did they have any music? Of course, they didn't have any music for me, and asked her how she wanted me to play, and she said, play like prayers. Well, I was so young at the time, I wasn't sure <laughs> I was that familiar with prayers, you know, but this was my first gig, professional gig, which was double. I worked with Lionel Hampton that week and worked with Billy Holiday that week. This was in 1957. And I've been out here, you know, since then. Before then, in 1956, I won four weeks during the summer when I finished high school uh, at the Apollo Theater on the Amateur Hour where we had to touch the tree in the back. I won four weeks playing Charlie Parker's tunes. But that's, that goes way back. And it's been a beautiful musical journey, it still is. My, my brother and I have had a band, the Pazant Brothers, working with Pucho and the Latin Soul Brothers, George G in the Swing Orchestra, the Cotton Club Band, the, the Manhattans, these groups I've been it, it's, it keeps me going. These groups are still performing today. Fortunately, I still have the strength to keep up.